What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. Welcome to my Volleyball Coach Reaction to Haikyuu Season 1 Episode 14. If you're new to this channel, I'm a volleyball coach, volleyball player, and personal trainer that provides volleyball tutorials, jump training videos, and other volleyball content, which you can find linked in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you for explaining what Vanguard means. That is definitely an odd translation for front row players, but I wonder if it's because the translator was translating the intention of the position versus just simply where they are on the court. I looked up the definition of Vanguard and it reads, the military position of leading the units of a military force. I interpret that as being on the front lines of offense and defense and the group that leads the charge. So in that sense, Vanguard is a more interesting translation because the front row players are leading the charge for the offense and are the first line of defense for blocking in volleyball. I guess Suki does have a little bit of maturity if he doesn't talk back to his seniors. Another great quote is, chance favors the prepared mind. I'm definitely going to use that when I try to teach my players that luck is something that you have to work hard for. I figured that Tanaka and Yamamoto both having shaved heads and being very aggressive and confrontational was related to the Yakuza. But learning that Tanaka's first name, Ryu, which means dragon, and Yamamoto's first name, Tora, which means tiger, definitely confirms the Yakuza imagery. Thanks for correcting my pronunciation on Kuro. When I'm doing my reaction videos, I have to keep my volume down so I don't get detected by the copyright bots, so it's hard to hear what they're saying sometimes. I know I can always go back and listen more closely, but I can't mess up the flow of my reaction. If you've been enjoying my reaction videos, please consider supporting Elevate Yourself by joining my Patreon linked below, where you also receive access to exclusive content, like monthly live Q&A sessions, monthly podcasts, my private blog, behind the scenes access, like how I made the thumbnail from episode 12, and more. Now let's get this high Q party started. Miyagi Prefecture. Omisaki. Karasu is going to play Dateko. Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。Karasu。
お疲れ様でしたで早速ですがインターハイ予選は来月6月2日からスタートです宮城は地区予選ねえからすぐ県予選だ全国大会へ進めるのは60 teams that's huge wow one tournament wow 60 teams Only one team can make it to nationals from this tournament. That's, that's insane. Yeah, one more. Moikai. Yeah, get up and play. That's cute. They're reading a volleyball magazine together. I used to do that, except I had nobody to read it with because nobody cared enough about volleyball when I was in high school. Ushiwaka. <laughs> That's cool that they cover high school volleyball in a magazine. <laughs> He's dejected in a corner. Ah, so they have to go through that school before they face Neko. Oh, another shaved head guy. It's gotta be another Tanaka like player. Man, these drawings are so cool. So intense. They don't look like high schoolers, they look like men. ある試合で朝日のスパイクは徹底的にブロックに止められてさ。あずまれさんが戻る前、菅原さんが言ってたのは伊達工業とか試合か。伊達工は本来ならベスト 4 yeah, matchups. Sometimes you just gotta get lucky with the teams that you match up with in terms of how strong they are. Oh, the K pop setter with a good serve. These draws are so cool. I wish they had these type of images for our high school volleyball team. <笑>トマ、この辺が折れてきことしのトマ、この辺が折れてきことしのトマ、この辺が折れてきことしのトマ、この辺が折れてきことしのトマ、この辺が折れてきことしのトマ、この辺が折れてきことしのトマ、この
Let's pause here on this blocking form. Now for your wrists, I don't recommend bending it forward because you increase the chance of jamming your fingers. I understand why blockers are trying to do that because they're trying to get completely on top of the ball. When you're blocking, I do recommend bending your wrist slightly backwards because not only will this make your hand stronger, it prevents injuries by minimizing any chances of jamming your finger. And you can actually control the ball a little bit better when you flex your wrist back slightly. Bending your wrist forward makes you feel like you're getting a bigger block, but you're actually just decreasing the height, minimizing the control, and increasing your chance of jamming a finger. The one thing that this blocker is doing really well is he's shrugging his shoulders forward to maximize his reach over the net. And I love his facial expression of that intense competitiveness. <laughs> Oh, people have been calling them the unflying crows. Man, that is a huge tournament. Tokonami. That's oh, a chance to play Seijo again. You know, one thing I will say about having a scouting report for teams, I think it's perfectly fine to watch another team play that you're about to play and to take a look at who's in your pool. But what's more important is what you do with that information. As you can see, you get a variety of responses where some players are getting psyched out and intimidated by the reputation of other teams. And one thing the coach is doing a good job again is to make sure you look forward and not up. Don't feel overwhelmed by the path that you have to take to win the tournament. And also don't feel like some teams are too easy for you to think about. Look forward and take it one game at a time and honestly, it doesn't matter who's in your pool because you still have to play them at the end of the day. So you have to treat each match like its own individual competition, not as a series to get to the championship goal. <laughs> That's some friendly competition. That's a small backpack. Let's <laughs> This is his chance to play against his friend. Let's see if he made a good decision by going to Karasuno. Good job, Hinata. That's cool. It's cool to see that they do something similar as what we do in the U.S. where they recognize the sports teams in front of the schools and the captain makes a speech talking about the season. It's a good opportunity to develop more leadership. Bah, that's a terrible mentality. You see how Daichi... <laughs> he, he doesn't like that, that type of talk. Man, what a good leader. Even with someone who's not on his team, he's trying to help. 
敵をするつもりじゃなくてだなそのなんだ<笑>そういえば中学の時も同じこと言って怒られたことあったな大会中に負けしてもうダメだってなった時にさ勝てるって確信が持てなくても周りの連中に絶対無理だって言われても俺たちは俺たちだけはそれを言ったらダメだろう That's right, listen to you to Daichi ごめん大会前に弱気になるの悪い癖だ Now the real Michimiya comes out 自分で言っといてあれだけどまあ首相同士だし俺には何言っても聞かなかったことにしてやるよあのやかつだよよし Adding on to Daichi's advice to Michimiya, which I think that's her name. Even if you feel like you're about to lose or you feel like you don't have the confidence on the inside, it's really important that you don't show it on the outside. In the USA, we have a phrase called fake it till you make it. That means you have to keep acting like you're confident until you feel confident. And that's one aspect about human nature that I really enjoy, is we have the ability to shape our thoughts and emotions simply based on our actions. The fact that we can choose to act a certain way, even though we don't feel a certain way inside, is pretty powerful, right? Not many other animals can have that much control. If you think about all the other animals on Earth, they're just reacting to how they're feeling. I feel hungry, I go find food. I feel sad, I whimper. I feel angry, I bark. But for humans in the animal kingdom, we have the ability to act separate than how we feel. And the people that end up becoming successful in life, regardless of whether they're playing volleyball or not, have practiced the ability to make decisions that are best for themselves, even when they don't feel like making those decisions all the time. And one way to practice this habit is try to think before you act or make a decision. It seems simple, but not a lot of people do that. Ooh, love that straight punch to the gut. <laughs> She's got a. A slap mark on her face. <laughs> kind of like this girl. She's a little wacky. She's not afraid to be aggressive. K pop. I remember I actually liked this guy because he was honest about his evaluation of himself and other players. Yeah, I drink that soy milk, Kageyama. I think Seijo was the team that, that blocked him. Or Dateko. <laughs> oh, Nishinoya is awesome. Is he training a dog? <laughs> that was funny. Every team needs a Nishinoya. I know I've said that before, but it's so true. He's keeping his team in check. Ooh, he's officially declaring that he is the ace. That's a, a, a huge change in his confidence. Oh, that's cute. Drew up a little, little strategy game plan with hand signals. One thing that Suga is doing a really great job is his, he knows that he's not as athletic and accurate as Kageyama or able to set impromptu like Kageyama. So the way he's compensating for that is by making his mental game stronger by developing a system of hand signals and plays that he can pre-plan so he can make up for his lack of athleticism. So just remember that there are always multiple ways to achieve your goals, even if you're not born with that natural talent. Yeah, practice them before you use them in-game. That's what coaches do. They just think about volleyball even off the court. 
Oh, little grandma. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
<laughs> still competing even when they're sweeping the floors I love it I wonder if Suga has a crush on Shimizu. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the beauty of having the owner of the bakery feed the team. Here's another fun story. When I was playing at my high school team, my sophomore year, our JV volleyball coach, he actually was the manager at the local McDonald's. So he would hook us up with tons of free McDonald's, which made us super happy, but probably wasn't the best for our team. Because I remember one day before a match, we went to McDonald's and he just gave us a bunch of Big Macs. And of course, a bunch of high school boys are not going to turn that down. And we're not thinking, right? Going back to what I said about human nature, we're hungry and we're excited and we're all amped up. And then we see free food from one of our favorite restaurants. We're acting on the impulse so our actions match our emotions. So of course, I eat four Big Macs. My other team is eat four Big Macs. And that was the worst we played. And the funny thing is, I don't think we made that connection. I think we knew that we did eat a little too much. But then we just ended up going to McDonald's again the next game. So we didn't really learn our lesson. So Coach Lou, thanks for hooking it up. And I appreciate you caring about us through the form of food as well as coaching volleyball. あの、すみません。今日も店じまい。カラスのバレーブの山口と言います。ああ、どっかで見たと思った。あの、あの、そういや、この前の試合に。Oh, this was the guy from the adult team. Yeah, he had a great jump float. He's got a pig on his his apron. それまでにできるようになるのはちょっと無理じゃない? だと思います。多分俺は今回は出られないし。3年生がいるのに1年が出るなんて普通は無理だし。But wow. he's doing a great job of taking initiative. I think his name is Yamaguchi. Even though he's a little bit more of a timid personality, and I don't agree with his thought where he feels like just because I'm a first year, there's no way I can take the spot of a third year. I do appreciate his initiative because he does recognize that he's the only first year that's not getting any playing time. And that's really where you get to see two different types of players. When players don't get playing time, they can either complain about it and do nothing and just blame the coach for not liking them. Or they can go out and practice a little bit more on their own, get private volleyball lessons, train a little harder or just work harder than the starters in practice. But there's always something you can do to better your situation. So that's one thing I love about Yamaguchi. I originally didn't like Yamaguchi because he's a Suki's fanboy, but I do like that he is taking initiative to try to better himself. Even as going as far as reaching out to one of the players on the adult team, which I think any resource you have access to, you gotta take advantage of that. Somi, that's funny, with an M. They're definitely not sponsored by Sony in this in this anime. Coach Ukai working his butt off, but still smoking that cigarette. Kageyama didn't scold Hinata for running into him. Ooh, maybe Kageyama's adapting this to his game is gonna take his setting to another level. <laughs> he learned it in 10 seconds. Whoa. Shimizu. There's Michimiya with her team that doesn't show up for morning workouts, and Hinata is nervous as always. What did what does Suga do to Tanaka? Ha! 
<laughs> he held up a, pe a peace sign and Suga put him in his place. This is a cool scene with just a lot of storytelling without any dialogue but just some, some good background music. Another full moon. It's nature that seems to unify the team oftentimes in this anime. She's gonna speak. Oh, that is sick. That looks awesome, man. Imagine having a t-shirt with just that. Yeah, charge up, Tanaka. are enamored. Yeah, I, w I would buy a shirt with that on the back. <laughs> Even Daichi lost control. Such raw emotion. I love it. Shimizu has so much power. Not even just for Karasuno, but other teams as well. Every team needs a Shimizu. Nope, Kageyama's behind him. Ah, I knew it! <laughs> Team competition is so awesome. But they're both so competitive, which is why they, they bond. in any capacity. This is a sign of a true competitor. If you notice all the greatest athletes, Kerry Walsh and Michael Jordan, they always share stories of how they wanted to win at everything. And that's also why many competitive athletes end up doing very well in the business world or in careers after their athletic career is over because they still have that competitive mentality where they're always trying to win at regardless of what they're doing. So if you're a coach, always give your players a chance to compete. Even if it's a simple passing drill, break them up into two groups and just make it a game where the first team to 20 passes wins the drill. But you want to always foster that competitive spirit in as many aspects as you can. Because then you get players like Hinata and Kageyama. <laughs> Now Kageyama might respect Hinata now. Oh, 
<laughs> now they will compete together. Ooh, yeah. Post that inspiration so everyone can see and get fired up all the time. This is a new end scene. I gotta watch this one. Looks like a flashback to a lot of the moments between Hinata and Kageyama. And their new uniforms. If you guys want me to do my favorite moments from season one, I would love to do a flashback. Let me know in the comments. Ooh, in the shadow of the little giant. I think they played different positions though. I think the little giant played the outside hitter and Hinata plays middle. Very nice. Good team photo. Here's my reaction to episode 14. The one thing I liked about this episode is how deep they dove into pre-tournament preparation. What people don't realize is that great coaches put a lot of effort outside of practices and matches and tournaments, such as preparing for practices, writing practice plans, scouting the other opponent, coming up with a strategy on how to maximize your chances of beating that opponent, and also coming up with a game plan of how you're going to win a tournament. Always remember as a coach that if you show anxiety and if you act like the other team is better than you, then your players will also reflect that feeling. So even for coaches, we also have to fake it till you make it. Because there have been times where I do see a great team and a great coach and I might be thinking, oh crap, we got to play this team. But in that moment, I try to correct myself right away, change my thinking pattern and to make sure that my body language exudes lots of confidence and belief in myself as a coach and our team. It was funny to see Shimizu finally talk, and when she did speak, the whole team just lost it. And not only is it because she's a pretty girl, but I think because she doesn't say much, when she does speak, it has a very big impact. So having an impact on your team doesn't necessarily mean you're talking all the time. It's about what you say and when you say it that matters the most. Another thing I really like about Shimizu is that she shows her dedication and belief in the team by just simply showing up, helping out our practices, and even taking the initiative to hang that banner. Right? She found that dirty banner, she washed it on her own, and she wanted to give something positive to her team all upon her own initiative. So she's someone that speaks more with her actions than her words. And you definitely want those type of people on your team, either as a team manager, assistant coach, or one of your teammates on the team. I'm really glad we got to see another side of Yamaguchi instead of him just being Suki's fanboy. Speaking of fanboys, I got to share another story from my high school volleyball team. Do you remember that one player that I referred to earlier in this season who was the coach's favorite, who showed up late to almost every practice, and sometimes would just skip practices entirely? had a terrible attitude, but he was one of the coach's favorites because he was incredibly athletic. This guy was my height, but could jump up and hang on the rim with two hands in his flip-flops. And of course, I remember asking him, how do you jump so high? And he just said, I don't know, I just do. Going back to the fanboy analogy, he had his own fanboy. There was another player that was actually pretty good at volleyball and he actually had a pretty good attitude, but because he looked up so much to this other player and thought he was the coolest guy on the team and on the campus, he would just follow him wherever he went and would mimic his behaviors because he was trying to be like him. But then when they weren't together, he was actually a really cool guy. So we actually had a Yamaguchi on our team. On top of that, during my senior year, 
many of us didn't want that other player with the bad attitude on the team again. So then the coach left it to a vote, and of course, everyone on the team voted for that player with the bad attitude to not be on the team except for one player. And it gets even better. Once the bad attitude guy was no longer on the team, his fanboy actually quit the team along with him even though he had a much better attitude and would actually show up to practice. So fanboys are a real thing. So going back to Yamaguchi, it was good to see a little bit more insight in his personality and to show that he's just not Tsuki's fanboy. He actually cares about being on the team, wants to get playing time, and wants to get better. It's so important not to be afraid to ask for help. It could be directly from your coach, the assistant coach, or just people that you find at open gyms that are better than you, or someone on an adult team that you look up to and you want to learn something from. But always remember that your own success is within your control, and you're the one responsible for your own progress, so you gotta do everything you can to make yourself better. Thanks for watching this reaction video. Don't forget to sign up for our Elevate Yourself Patreon, where you'll get access to more exclusive volleyball content. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. We'll see you guys in the next one.